Support comes from the Norton Simon Museum, presenting the film series Testigo Witness, Goya in the Movies. Held on Fridays in May, each film touches upon Francisco de Goya's visions of the world, including Goya or the hard way to enlightenment and the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie at nortonsimon.org. Support comes from Pasadena Playhouse, presenting Jelly's Last Jam. Follow Jelly Roll Morton, the self-proclaimed inventor of jazz, in this ambitious musical masterpiece that's sure to blow the roof off the theater. Performances begin May 29th. Tickets at PasadenaPlayhouse.org. Today on the L.A. Report, state budget cuts that will cut into help for California's undocumented college students will stay in place. L.A. Unified says its budget outlook is not as bleak as it thought last week. We'll have details. And the best-known and most-loved downtown L.A. cafeteria, Clifton's, will reopen soon. It's Wednesday, May 15th. I'm Nick Roman. This is the L.A. Report from L.A. at 89.3. The revised state budget Governor Gavin Newsom put out last week leaves in place steep cuts to state-funded legal services for immigrants. LA's correspondent Leslie Berestein-Rojas says that includes services for some of California's undocumented college students. One program that could lose the bulk of its funding provides free legal help to immigrant students at Cal State Universities, eight of which are in L.A., Orange, Ventura, and San Bernardino counties. The revised state budget includes about $33 million worth of proposed cuts to programs that fund legal help for immigrants through local service providers. These include legal services for unaccompanied minors, immigrants with temporary protected status, and undocumented students. L.A.'s correspondent Leslie Berestein-Rojas. She has more about the proposed budget cuts at LAist.com. Speaking of the state budget, L.A. Unified Superintendent Alberto Carvalho says the school district's financial outlook is brighter than you might think, given the big deficit in the governor's revised state budget plan last week. District staff gave the school board a budget update yesterday. Carvalho says a cost-of-living adjustment will bring in more money than expected. We're holding firm on the commitment that we did not lay off any employee this year. We will not lay off any employee next year. There will be no furloughs. We are adamant about protecting our essential programs for kids. School attendance is up at LA Unified, and that's also bringing in more district money from the state. LA Unified is out with its official plan to add shade and green space to more than 600 school campuses by 2035. The $3 billion plan lists which schools will be first to yank out asphalt playgrounds in favor of trees and grass. The school board's Kelly Gonez wrote the green space resolution. She says it is disappointing that it's coming more than a year later than she wanted. There's no time to waste because there is a lot of work to do and so much need. We have more about green schoolyards. Check it out at LAS.com. Back in March, California voters approved Proposition 1. That bond measure aims to raise money for mental health services in California. It also shifted much of the state's millionaires' tax revenue for mental health services into housing for people with mental illness. LAist reporter Yusra Farzan says the governor has now announced some of that money will be available in July. Prop 1 included a bond of around $6.4 billion. Around half of those funds will be made available this summer. Cities, counties, and tribal entities can apply for the funding to be used towards mental health treatment sites. The bond money will be awarded next year. Governor Newsom also announced a new website where the public can access mental health services in the state. For LA 89.3, I'm Yusra Farzan. When we come back, LA's legendary Clifton's Cafeteria is coming back. Support for LAist comes from the Norton Simon Museum, presenting the film series Testigo Witness, Goya in the Movies, held on select Fridays in May. Each film touches upon Spanish artist Francisco de Goya's visions of the world, including Goya or The Hard Way to Enlightenment by Conrad Wolf and The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie by Luis Buñuel. Screenings are at 4.30 p.m. on consecutive Fridays, now through May 31st. More information at nortonsimon.org. 
Support for LAist comes from Pasadena Playhouse, presenting Jelly's Last Jam. When Jelly Will Morton's soul is forced to face the music, the self-proclaimed inventor of jazz is left at the ultimate crossroads. This lively musical follows the journey from the back alleys of New Orleans to the sparkling stages of New York, featuring a sizzling bandstand, electrifying tap dancing, and soulful tunes. On stage for four weeks only, Jelly's Last Jam. Performances begin May 29th. Tickets available now at PasadenaPlayhouse.org. This is the L.A. Report. I'm Nick Roman. The Union for 48,000 Student Workers and Researchers at University of California campuses might call a strike. If that happens, teaching, research, grades for UC students, all of it stops. Among the union's demands, it wants amnesty for members arrested during recent protests for Palestinian rights. Union leader Ani Viloria Winnett is a grad student at UCLA. The most shameful part of it is you see their universities uh, disproportionate and unfair response to those in our campus who are standing up for justice. A UC representative says union members don't have a legal right to strike. Hollywood street vendors and advocates who sued the city of Los Angeles over its no vending zones say they're postponing trial again until July 16th. This is the third delay. They hope they can reach a settlement with the city. The trial was to start tomorrow. The L.A. City Council voted to do away with no vending zones earlier this year, but the vendors wanted the city to repeal other restrictions. They also want the city to rescind tickets they'd racked up for selling along the Hollywood Walk of Fame and other now former no vending zones. Clifton's, L.A.'s legendary and loved downtown L.A. cafeteria, will reopen its historic South Broadway location this summer, but with a new name, Clifton's Republic. Flooding problems kept the 90-year-old dining and cocktail spot closed for about a year. In its heyday, Clifton's was known for its towering faux redwood tree decor and extensive taxidermy collection. Clifton's Republic will retain some of that look, and L.A.'s reporter McKenna Sievertson says there will be a cafeteria. But it's probably going to look a lot different, with Clifton's confirming that the new retro-futuristic cafeteria concept will debut this summer. And the Pacific Sea's tiki bar and three themed lounges are set to start serving customers again next month. But you can get a sneak peek of some of the changes even sooner with tickets to their new burlesque style dinner show. LA's reporter McKenna Sievertson, she says Clifton's will also roll out daytime hours and brunches in August. Thanks for listening to the L.A. Report. I'm Nick Roman. Be sure to listen again tomorrow morning when Suzanne Watley brings you the L.A. Report AM edition. The L.A. Report is produced by Libby Rainey and Tiffany Ujiea. Megan Garvey is the executive editor. Catherine Mailhouse, our director of content development. Our engineer, Tui Mao. Original music by Scott Kelly. You can read more about this evening's stories at LAist.com. You can also listen live anytime on the LAist app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. You know, listeners like you help make the LA Report possible. So please donate at LAist.com slash join. This podcast is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live. The LAS Spring Super Sweeps is happening now. You can win amazing prizes while supporting your source for local fact-based journalism. One lucky grand prize winner will get to choose a brand new Lexus or $25,000 in cash. Other prizes include an electric bike from Juice Bikes and $1,000 gas gift cards. Your donation of $60 gets you one entry to win. And the more you give, the more entries you get. Donate now at LAS.com sweeps.